At Shearing Speed Sports, racing is more than a hobby. For over 20 years, racing has been our business, our passion, and our way of life. My name is Steve Shearing, and I'm driven to win. Hey everyone, it's Haley and I'm in Aurora, Minnesota, home of Shearing Speed Sports and the Amsoil U.S. Air Force Skidoo Professional Snowcross Team. As many of you know, the team has a storied history in the sport, fielding championship contenders for the past 23 years. But what you may not realize is how much goes into preparing for and winning those championships. Follow along with our new series, Driven to Win. We're going to give you a behind the scenes look at what goes into winning races here at Shearing Speed Sports. Steve, we have a lot of moving parts going on here at the shop in Aurora. Talk to me a little bit about what it takes to get this team ready for the season. Well, running a team at this level is a year-round event. Um, it's kind of like the Air Force. When they're not at war, they're getting ready for war. We just completed making snow. Uh, we had about 10 days of super cold weather up here. Our snowmobiles came in about a week before Halloween. The guys are working diligently on getting those ready. Um, it's just a lot of stuff behind the scenes that people don't realize to run at this level. Now I understand Lincoln and Hunter just got here this week. Can you tell me about what's going on here today at the shop? The greatest drivers ever, Lincoln and Hunter. They've spent all summer training, physically getting ready. We started riding about a week ago, and they're doing the hands-on, as you can see in the background, doing nut and bolt prep, making sure their practice lids are ready, and they're diligent about going out and doing their motos and testing, and I'm excited for this year. Steve, talk to me about what it takes to get a sled ready to go out on snow. Well, the skidoos show up about the middle of October in crates. We'll take and uncrate them, strip them down. We'll put the necessary reinforcements where we need for this type of a sport in them. With uh, being a more stock-based snowmobile, there's not a lot of modifications we can do. We'll add the Fox shocks to give them a better ride. We'll put the Rocks hand guards, the CNA skis, and things that are still legal in the rules. But then Steve and Elliot do just a fantastic job of making everything is dialed in perfect. So what you're seeing in the background right now is Steve is working on the lathe. He's machining some spacers just to tighten up any loose parts on the snowmobile because the consumer person doesn't realize how critical every little bit of tolerance that you can take away is, is having control on that vehicle when you're racing. And I've learned it too. And very fortunate we have in-house machining capabilities, welding, fabricating, and I have two of the best mechanics in the industry. That's it for this week's episode. Thank you to Sharing Speed Sports for having me up here. I'm so excited to be back all season long as we give you an inside look at the Sharing Speed Sports operation. Stay tuned. <laughs>